This is your daily devotional in red, the word spoken by the Almighty, the Most High, Yahushua HaMashiach, while he did his earthly ministry of approximately two and a half years, starting at the age of approximately 30 years old. These are the words that were directly written, written spoken from his mouth, and a scribe wrote it. And um, because back then, scribes would write everything down, right? Because that's when they were starting to form history, starting to form, um, add um, writings to their, to their scriptures. And, you know, the king's orders were very, very serious. And they would have to be spot on. And people would have to double check, write, dot their I's, cross their, I mean, dot their T's, cross their I's. Did I say that right? Dot their T's cross no cross their t's dot their eyes and what's the what's the you part then anyways i digress in john 2 16 it says take these things away do not make my father's house a house of merchandise many within the church don't think of prosperity preachers or who talk of nothing but gaining wealth as those who make the church into a house of merchandise but they do they preach godliness as a means of gain speaking of evil men this verse says useless wranglings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth who suppose that godliness is a means of gain from such withdraw yourself i'm sure that when jesus took a whip to the buyers and the sellers who had invaded the temple the fear of god entered their hearts the whip added the power to his words Proponents of prosperity teaching need to understand the fear of God. Perhaps then they will realize that this doctrine focused on selfishness and greed would one day be judged for the sin that it really is. Repentance is in order. Truth must be preached so that this lost world will flee from the wrath of God and come to the Savior. We all know that the wrath of God is not appointed <sighs> to those who are seeking salvation. To those who are eagerly awaiting the appearance of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach. And that time is coming very, very soon, people. Very, very soon. You know, I crunch. I, I just... One day someone's going to come in here and they're not going to find me. Then I think about the entire world. How many people are going to be miss missing, not just families, but husbands and that's why I truly believe that that is the actual, the reset starts out the rapture. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Guys, if you haven't made, please, I beg of you, time is short. I'm 48 years old, man. 43 years before this? I didn't care about this. I went to a Catholic high school and a Catholic elementary school, so I knew who Jesus was, but I never walked with Jesus Christ. It's not, only, it's not, it's not until I went through some very painful things in my life. And that's how usually God does it. He just pulls you to him by the afflictions and circumstances that you have in your life that are very uh, derogatory. They're not... Um, they could be less comfortable. I'm sorry, they could be more comfortable, right? God doesn't want us to get comfortable. He wants us to, yes, live an abundant life. But also, always live it, knowing that sin is crouching on you. Like a lion that's ready to pounce on you. And your job is to restrain it. Anyways, brothers and sisters, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful day. Shabbat Shalom, if applies to you tonight when you see the first two moons, or not two moons, two stars. And um, have a wonderful um, end of the week. I don't think God looks at it that way, though. Mm -mm.
it's just another day. So I think we're all going to be very pleasantly surprised. So if I don't see you tomorrow or the day after, then uh, I'll see you in the clouds.